my dad is, is pretty against EV initially, but uh, after driven this car for like maybe a month, he, he really enjoys the, the experience. Yeah. Today, we've got Zermatt Neo, who is known for a lot of his feasting videos on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Recently, uh, you had a feasting video with Haley. Oh yeah, that's the vegetarian one. Uh. Oh yeah. So today, we're actually inviting him because as you all see, he just recently got a Tesla Model 3, not more than two months ago. Two months ago, yeah. It's very, very new. Yeah, I, I just got it. Like we, I waited quite a while for the car. Yeah, mm. but it's worth the wait. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so uh. much. When is your turn? That's a million dollar question. Well, in Singapore, <laughs> Specifically, a 300,000 Singapore dollar question. Okay. So, we'll let you all know have... by end of October. End of October. Okay. Model Y, right? That, that's what you're talking Model Y. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I've seen that one. I'm probably going to test drive it soon. Mm. Yeah. Probably can bring you along if you're okay. Yes. Okay. So, in this video, we just want to hear from Zermatt about his experience owning a Tesla, as well as his journey using it. Because he's been going around recently across the borders to mm. Malaysia as well mm -hmm. on foot trips. Mm -hmm. i put a link in the video description where you see a few of these epic foot yeah. trips. Uh. It's, it's mainly just vlogs. Okay, sadly right, I haven't driven this car over the borders yet. Uh. Okay, most of the time is I, I go in with my Grab driver friends and all, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to try going, you know, across <laughs> the borders with this car because I've seen a lot of uh, yeah, I, I, was, I was added into a group chat, I think the Tesla group chat and all. So I seen a lot of them like going going across the borders to go and look for food and all. And apparently there is a lot of like charging point there as well. So there's not much of an issue. Lah. So that's why. Mm. And they, they, are, they are arranging like a trip to drive all the way to KL or something. Yes. Yeah. There is a Durand trip coming up. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you are a Tesla owner in Singapore and you're keen, let us know down in the comments. <laughs> This car is a great car for transporting food as well, not just passengers. The cool thing about some EVs at Tesla, there's no engine here. Oh yeah, you can shove a lot of stuff in there. Right. For a foodie as a man, right? You want to see what's in my front? Yeah, he can pack food here. So what he's doing now is he's opening the Tesla app to open the front. So that's power technology. What do we have here? <laughs> it's actually... Okay, it's like just a giant bag of like chips, but that's typically what uh what people send to me as and when it fits perfectly, you know, in here. Okay, yeah. Uh, but it's it's not okay. This is there's a lot of mini mini bags in there. Right? This is not like the like, actual, you know. This is not like you open this and you eat it right away. It's a lot of like we'll probably share it inside later. <laughs> Zamet, many of our audiences in the region know you. They subscribe to you. They follow you. Appreciate that. For our international audiences, what's one thing they should know about you? Okay, so uh, I'm a content creator like Darren. Uh, I do a bunch of like uh, eating content, basically epic eating, like eating challenges, food challenges, uh, mukbang videos, and yeah, pretty much just me eating a lot in front of the camera. And then uh, lately I've been featuring a lot more local hawker food content and Doing a bit of overseas content since the borders are starting to open. Uh, probably gonna, I'll be going to Bangkok this month. Then uh, a lot more JB content as well. Because like I feel like the food there is so under-featured. Probably going to drive this car over the coast. I'm not sure if it's like... Uh, initially, I have a lot of concerns. Mm. But uh, lately, I think I think it's very possible. Like, you know, you don't really... Because the range is pretty long per charge. Even if I'm going to go there and come back in one day without any, any form of charging over there, yeah. I think it's... No problem at all. Yeah. Tesla owners in Singapore have driven to Malaysia without charging. Mm. You typically reach Malaysia with about 8% state of charge. Oh. So, JB, Johor, safe. No issue, la, yeah. Uh. To KL, it might be a bit much, but excited to try. That's why we have a community. Oh, so yeah. Hear yeah. your story. You've not had a car for a few years before. Oh, yeah. What encouraged you to get a car and end up with a Tesla? Uh. Okay, I always wanted. I think I think I came to like that's why I came to Singapore. I think when when is it again? He came to Singapore middle of last year. Okay, so he came to Singapore like somewhere middle of last year, and I I went for the. I think I didn't I didn't really went for the test drive yet. It was like I procrast procrastinated for a while up to uh I would say maybe October or like late last year. Then I went for a test drive, and I I saw I like this car. The fact that it's very it's very clean. It feels very. Uh, 
it feels very it, it doesn't have a lot of noise uh, inside yeah it feels very it's very silent and i like it and then um the other thing i really like is the inside as well the white seats you know mm. because i i'm a big like for me most of my stuff is like in monochrome like you know black and white uh, and the inside is black and white and like, the moment i test drive and i see the inside the white seats the customization i'm solar so i just i just went ahead and placed the order i mean it's, it's actually very I thought that the process is going to take like, it's, it's quite complicated and all, but it's actually quite, I, I did everything online. Mm. I just yeah, placed the order and after a while they contact me and all, yeah. Well, that's quite a shocking thing about ordering a Tesla. Oh yeah. Can you, you share your experience? So, when I, when I ordered this car, right, it was, I think it's only like 150 bucks to just place the order. So, initially I thought I used was down payment, like I know 10, 20k or something, but it's not. You can sure you just place the order, 150 bucks, and then you wait. I test drive late last year. I placed the order somewhere during Chinese New Year period. Oh. Yeah, and then I got it. So yeah. What was the other car shot? This you may have tried other cars. Yeah. Uh, this. Actually, I, I I thought of getting a Volkswagen, mm. like like a normal or um, maybe a Golf or something, mm. second hand, you know. But uh. But this because it was relatively expensive at that point of time because of the COE, oh. you see. So, uh, so I was like procrastinating. I was like thinking whether is it worth is it, is it worth getting you know with that COE being so high. So I think I got it at like about ninety thousand the COE. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't wait a little bit longer because now I think it's over a hundred thousand. Yeah, probably back then at ninety thousand people may have said, "Wow, are you crazy?" Yeah, yeah, they they thought that I'm not. My parents like, why do you wait a bit longer? I'm like. It's just gonna go up. Mm. Yeah, so might as well I just I just just go ahead. Yeah. Mm. As you can see, the, uh, this is quite a unique car and Zermatt likes the minimalist look. Mm. He's also wearing white as well, perfectly matching his car. <laughs> I contrast it with a black here. And we've seen a big front space. What we will do now is we'll go inside. I'm gonna to speak to Zermatt to hear what he likes about this car, his driving experience and any advice for those of us considering it. Oh. See you inside the okay. Tesla Model yeah, 3. See the, the, I like the interior so much. So we're inside your two-month-old Model 3. Yeah, still very new. How much was this car? Oh, I think total was about, about 215, 215,000. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Uh, to me, uh, okay, yeah. I, I, like the, I like the ride and everything. So I, 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 mean, I, I, I just, I thought it was okay. Singapore is the world's most expensive yeah. cars. And in life, money is not the reason why we live. The more the better, but the other <laughs> more important things and we do our best to also enjoy hopefully the fruits of our labor. We've been working yeah. very hard over the years. I um I mean it's been a while since I like like I mentioned just now, it's been a while since I've driven a car. Like my last car is like twenty sixteen, so it's been like six years. So it's been like six years. Uh so always want to get one uh, like ever since i you know because lately i've been moving around a lot so i thought that a car might be a little bit convenient initially i thought that i want to just get a second hand car but then uh after the test drive you know after okay i'm, I'm i wouldn't say i'm like a big tesla boo okay but uh i mean i, I do have certain i do have some conviction in boss so I, I like him and also i thought that okay uh, why not mm. yeah now that you've got the car, tell us what stands out about the, the car for you. Uh, okay, one thing that really stands out for me is the regenerative braking. I really like the, the fact that, okay, most of the time when I'm driving this car, I'm only using one pedal. Like, rarely I tap on the brakes. Maybe when I'm parking or like when there's some sort of like, some, some random car just cut into my lane or something, like some emergency, I have to use the brakes. But most of the time, uh, I'm only using one pedal to drive, which is a very new experience for me. A lot of my friends weren't used to it because of the fact that they've been driving the, the typical, the regular cars for a while. But for me, because I haven't been driving for like, I haven't driven a car for like six years. So there's not much for me to think of. So it's, it's just, you know, I, I gotten used to it very, very quickly. And I like it. Yeah, I, I love the fact that, you know, there's this like auto braking thing going on yeah for a lot of people their car is like their baby their home away from home mm. do you eat in your tesla uh i drink i snack but like i i, I tend to eat stuff that is um uh, 
they will not have some sort of odor in the car. Yeah, so it's like you sometimes I snap on my nuts or like uh protein bar, like that sort of thing. But uh I you mentioned you're telling me that you know model Y has this special function that you can eat durian in your car and it will not have the smell in there. I'm not sure. I haven't really tried to experience it with this car. It is not model Y, it's model three. Yeah. And you mentioned that you did transport durians. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Uh I placed them in the, the boot. And surprisingly, there is no smell. My previous, I mean, my, my dad, his previous car, he drove this car to buy durian at least six times. Uh. Uh. So, uh, previously, whenever he, you know, he bought some durian and all, the whole car is going to smell like durian. But for this one, not really. Yeah, I didn't even know that they, you know, they transported durian or something. Yeah, so, pretty interesting. Uh. Other than that, um, I like the fact that this car is very quiet. Mm. The whole design is very minimalistic. Like the whole, you know, everything. Uh, yeah, it's, it's monochrome. I really like monochrome. And like, it's just a screen here, not mm. a whole bunch of random stuff. Uh, uh, and driving it feels very intuitive. It feels very... Um, this, and for drivers like me, right, that is maybe not that familiar with the roads or like uh, parking areas and all narrow space, this car is very useful because of the sensors. Yeah, all the sensors and there's so many cameras. Yeah. I haven't really tested out the sentry mode though, but mm. I heard that uh, it's going to be very useful if I go JD or something. <laughs> yeah, some of you saw the news, it can get quite dramatic across the border. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your wheels go bye bye. Yes, yes, yes. Or yes, yes. just to watch out, make sure people don't snatch out your car plate when you're crossing the immigration. <laughs> We've talked about a lot of good things about the Tesla. Anything that you find not so good or maybe not really a useful feature for you personally? In general, I think it's very okay. Like for me, I depend on the clock a lot. Right, this this little tight like the clock here, uh, but the clock is always off sync for some odd reason. I don't know why. Like whenever I update the software, it will be back on like back in sync. But now it's like off by ten minutes again. So, so it's showing here four fifty one pm. Yeah, now it's actually five o two. Yeah, so it's a little bit off actually. I don't know why. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Uh, other than that. I would say everything is relatively okay. Initially, when I wanted to get this car, right, uh, I was, I was afraid of that because I don't live in a landed, so I, I need to like you know, sort of look for charging ports and everything. Uh, but it's actually very convenient, like especially the superchargers. They charge really quick, like super super quick, like twenty minutes I'm done. And most of the time, I don't wait till like it's, it's maybe like twenty or ten percent, and I charge. I'll, I'll like I'll charge it at like forty percent if I bypass a supercharger, and it's like ten minutes. So like ten minutes, it'll be like an eighty or ninety. So it's relatively quick. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't know. I feel like this battery it lasts a lot. Uh, as compared to the previous model, this one tends to last a bit. It's, it's more durable. Yeah. You're, you're saying yes. this is the 2022, right? After, yes. after, after June or something. Uh, last year, when Tesla first launched mm. here, their base range was called SR Plus, Standard Range Plus. This one, the base range, the new one, is called Rear Wheel Drive. The range is 10% higher. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's quite significant. 10% more range yeah, is about, I think, 40 more km. 40 more km, yeah, quite a lot. The small downside is the acceleration is a little bit less. Mm. It's not so cheeky, like, not so fast. Hey, but it's still very quick. Eh? Like, mm. like I, you know, I haven't really tried racing or something with this car, but uh, you can feel it, like, and it and it accelerates so quietly but very quickly. So that is one thing that I like about this car. You you tap on the accelerator a little bit and you just and as I'm just using the chill mode. I haven't really tried all the sports mode or something, but they were telling me when you we switch to sports mode, uh, your suspension will be very uh, I don't know, they'll tighten, yeah, they'll stiff stiffen hmm. up your uh, suspension and all this your steering wheel is gonna be very tight or something. I haven't really tried all this. Yeah, so this feature so for those of you who are new Tesla owners are considering you can find all of it in the, the pedals and steering. So this is acceleration, there's chill, then the standard, then the steering mode, you got sport. That's what uh, Zermatt was talking mm -hmm. about. So all these changes your driving experience a little bit. Yeah. We've talked a lot about EV charging. So I think more and more people now admit, yes, I can find EV chargers across mm -hmm. Singapore. We have quite a few Thai EV drivers come down to Singapore. Yeah, I've seen that video. Yeah. And they also say, Singapore, no problem. Now people want to find out. The next concern is, how much more time am I spending charging? 
if you have home charging, okay, I get it. But for yourself, the past two months, mm. do you notice that compared to driving a petrol car, ice car, you spend more time charging, same amount of time or less time? For me, I charge anywhere from 1 to okay, 1.5 to maybe 2 charge a week. And, and every charge is maybe like 80%. Typically, I spend not more than thirty bucks a week charging, and it's compared to my my you know, my friends that they are like driving a, a typical ice car, right? Uh, it's a lot cheaper. That's one. Second thing, I don't see that much of an inconvenience. You you park at the at the mall or something, mm. you charge it. You can go and do your stuff. Like for me, typically, I will start to reply some emails. I'll start to work in the car. Because the car is still functional when you're charging. So, uh, you know, I'll do some emails. Sometimes I'll watch some YouTube videos on the car. Like, you know, like, later we'll, we, can, we can show later. Like, we'll, we'll do, I'll watch some YouTube. Or if not, I'll just, I'll just reply to some emails or something. And one thing about this car, the surround system is awesome. Mm. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, oh, wait, let, me, let me find a more updated video. This is a relatively old video. Uh, this guy... Right. Oh, gracias. You can feel that you're there. So, yeah. I mean, this is straight up ox hormone. It feels like you're watching in a theater. Yes. The Netflix experience is awesome. Any changes or any modifications in car so far? Eh, not really, eh, nothing much. Uh, other than, I, I, I changed the tires because mine is the, the standard range, not the performance, eh? mm. yeah, not the performance. So mine is the standard range. I, 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 I sort of replaced the wheels to a 19 inch one. Mm. That's the only thing I, I, I changed. Uh, because the actual Tesla, the default ones, I, I, I didn't like the plastic thing that is on. It looks very flimsy. So this is why I, I replaced the rims to something else. It uh, looks a bit more uh, durable, I would, get, I would say, yeah. When we look at this car park around us, right now, every other car, mm. or almost every other car, mm. is an ICE car. Yeah. This is currently the only EV in this car park. In yeah. this car park. Singapore's EV adoption, it's gone up it's right now nine percent of all cars so oh, nine percent oh well nine. went up quite a bit yeah. so it's not bad i want to get the sentiment on the ground when you talk to your friends your family members how much of a rise in ev consideration is there okay so for me because very new owner two two months old but when i go to like, like tesla superchargers right you got to see a lot more like people queuing up for the charger like uh so probably people are starting to uh they're, they're more I don't know. They 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 are okay with EVs these days, uh, due to the fact that there's more uh there's more like super like for Tesla there's more superchargers. I mean, I know that there are, there are some other chargers around that you can use. Personally, I I've, I've tried the SPO, which is relatively quick as well. So uh, in general, I would say most are okay. I uh un unless I'm not sure the blue SG one. I don't think that one you can charge Tesla. Yeah, but that one is yeah. Uh, I do hope that like the government will will like they'll install more like maybe at like HDB areas like the multi-story car park that will definitely encourage more people to uh, get EVs like. and also um, the older generations they are they're, they're really afraid that this is like you know stereotype uh, the stigma that they, they, they might be afraid that like you know uh, what if I drive halfway and you know there's no electricity do I have to like you know get tow or something so but all in all um uh, my dad is he's pretty against EV initially, but uh, after driven this car for like maybe a month, he, he really enjoys the, the experience. Yeah. A lot of people, Singapore are very practical, just like many parts of the world. Hmm. We're not just only actively looking out for an EV. I think for many people, we just want to find a better car. Is the range good, acceleration good, low maintenance, yeah. it looks good, software works well, you can watch YouTube, your kids are entertained. Your friends are entertained. In general, I would say yeah. In for me, I just wanted something like 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 I mentioned, something very minimalistic, and this one fits the bill, and um, uh, something very quiet, and this car is super quiet. 
and then uh, the acceleration is really not a big part for me. I'm not like uh, I don't race or what, but uh, it is a plus point for sure. Uh, because it feels very smooth, especially when you accelerate. Uh, you know, when the typical ice car, when you pick up so quickly, you have a lot of noise. Some people like it, but for me, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. And like you mentioned, very low maintenance because it doesn't have an engine. So you, you don't really need any form of maintenance. Other than that, I'm still very new to the car. Uh. Uh, still have more things to explore. Mm. There's a lot of other uh, functions that I probably not tapped on yet. It's quite a learning curve. Any favorite software features so far? Mm. The fact that everything is, 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 is here. Mm. You don't really need to fiddle around with a lot of stuff. Like the, we open the, what was that thing called? The glove box. And then, um, we don't open the glove box. Yeah. Mm. We open the glove box, it's like, you know, everything is automated, like using this, this monitor here. And this feels like a giant, like, like a, like an iPad here, you know, like mm. a little laptop here that I can just do whatever here. And, um, when I think when I first started driving this car, the battery sort of deplete a little bit quicker for some odd reason. So I, I, I sort of like, uh, I got them to, uh, I, I, I sort of, uh, I contacted them for some sort of like service request mm -hmm. and they are able to check my battery from their central, like, you know, their central computer or something, which is relatively cool. You know, they, they don't need to send someone down to the car, they can, they can, they have all the data in their computer. So to check my battery, they say, okay, your car is just calibrating, you're, you're on the first week, you know, it takes a while. And true enough, after, after the first week, like the second week, um, it, 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 it stopped fluctuating. And so many smart features in a car. You can even control different settings. Like if you press the button, button you open yeah, the front. You can, yeah. Open the, you can open and close on the button. Yeah, you can open and close. That's the coolest thing. You can also like click the lock button. You hear the chime, it locks yeah. the car. It unlocks. Yeah. Especially useful when you're traveling to other countries. Mm. Same thing with a charge port. You can click as well. Charge port opens. It shows you your state of charge. Yeah. And then can just click the lightning and it closes again. It feels like a car of the future. Yeah, it does, it does, mm. it does. This is like the future for me. Like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like uh, I'm quite excited to see like what other, if, if, they, if they are going to come out with new models, I, I'm pretty excited to see what, what kind of new models they're going to come out. Because at the, at the moment, I know some people were saying like the Tesla looks too uh, minimalistic. Like for, but for me, it's, it's it, I like it, yeah. But some people just don't fancy this kind of look. Yeah. But uh, as of now, I'm enjoying it. You mentioned you, you like Elon Musk. Mm. You had this car. One of the things that they talk about a lot is autopilot, full self driving. Oh, yeah. Do you believe in that? Is that hype? Is that a nice to have for you? What's uh, your take? As of now, I've tried autopilot on expressway. is actually very useful. Uh, when you're just cruising along the expressway, I enjoy using the autopilot a lot. Uh, but when you are driving in the neighboring areas, right? Uh, I wouldn't recommend autopilot because I think it, I don't think it can sense the red light. So sometimes you'll just, you know, just go and go. I, I mean, I'll, I break lah. I mean, I'll just break and all, but I heard of like fellow Tesla drivers uh, having the issue that it just, it just run across the red light and they got a ticket or something. Yeah. So that's one thing. Yeah, you need to take note. Uh, full self driving. I haven't really tried full self driving yet, so uh, I hope that that will it is eventually it will be a thing. Like you know, all the cars they are able to communicate, and you know, uh, eventually Tesla is able to solve full self driving. Not a perfect tool. It's a co-pilot. It doesn't take over yeah, full yeah, control yeah. of your car, so the driver is always accountable. Hmm. It just makes it less stressful. There are 1,280 Teslas in Singapore now. When you see them on the road, you do anything like you wave, you signal a bit. Oh, not really. Like. I mean, on the I'm not that good of a driver yet. So on the road, I try to I try to focus on what's in front of me. But uh, when I when I see other drivers at like the supercharging port, I'll probably say hi. Yeah, I just yeah, they're all relatively friendly. Like. You know, usually they'll just say hi to me and we will chat a little bit. Uh, one of them, I met this guy. I forgot his name. Uh, he he actually recommended a bunch of places for me to go and try in JD and like uh, added me into that, that Tesla group chat. So like whenever I have questions, I'll just, I'll just go and ask them there. Yeah. 
the community is, is friendly. It's friendly. small right now. It's friendly. Everyone wants to support each other. Because a lot of them have been in your shoes as they are new to mm. EVs. Yeah. They're discovering things. Really, sometimes you go to Supercharger, someone's trying to figure out how to pick up the plug. Yeah. And we just help her. We just share. It's okay. No it shame. It took me a while. Like, like, you know, I've been using Supercharger like all along for the charging. And then uh, after a couple of charge, I was, I was in Great World City. I was doing that, that uh, what's the thing, the SP ones. And I realized that you have to sort of like unlock the thing before you can pull that thing out. I was like, I was, I was standing there like, like an idiot and then fortunately, I, I, mean, I just asked in the group chat and they say, oh, you have to unlock. It's, it sounds relatively stupid, but you know, for, for new drivers like me, sometimes you won't know. Yeah. Because it's, you're used to the supercharger. Yeah, yeah supercharger makes it too convenient, yeah. too easy for us. Sometimes you don't even know how much you pay. All right. <laughs> So Matt, thank you so much for, thank you so much for sharing me. your experience with us. The more views we get, the more diverse perspectives we have, the easier it is for all of us to make that unknown journey. I don't think I'm, I'm like the best person to share about this thing because I'm like two months old. But uh, definitely a very comfortable... Uh, it's a very... Okay, in Singapore, to buy a car is definitely not that cheap. Uh, but I would say uh, in terms of performance, price point, uh, Tesla is not sponsoring this video. In terms of performance price point, I would say it's relatively, relatively good. Uh. But I, I don't think, in terms of the price points, you cannot beat this. Yeah. I just want to call out that actually, your voice matters. Every voice matters. It's not about being an expert or a long time owner. We're not, we're not, we're not pushing. Uh. We're not yeah. like telling you guys to go and buy Tesla. Test drive right link below. Yeah. <laughs> Referral code below. There's no such thing. <laughs> Tesla doesn't even have a marketing department for some odd reason. You know why? You know? Why, why do they not have like a marketing department? So Elon Musk believes when he was asked, uh, okay. he says, when people go to a party, they don't talk about things they like. They talk about things they love. And a lot of Tesla owners love their Tesla. There's also a joke, a meme, like, how do you know that someone's a Tesla owner? Don't worry, they will tell you. <laughs> this experience has been valuable to hear. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Happy I'll put a there. link down in the video description for you to find and learn more and watch the Matt's adventures <laughs> as he's traveling to Bangkok very soon. Oh yeah, in two weeks time. Yes. So if you found this video useful, please click the like button, hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. <laughs> this is like what you do to like annoy your friends. Eh? You're sitting here and you know, you just...